In this video, we are going to have a look at the Makey Metal Grip for the Nikon Z6 and Z7. Hello, good morning everyone, Rich Wong here. So recently I have reviewed the Makey 50mm f1.7 lens for the Nikon Z cameras. That's a very nice and very affordable compact menu focus lens. If you haven't checked out my review, I put a link below. While Makey have um, already made quite a few different lenses for different camera system, I think most people know Makey is because of the uh, battery grip and some other camera accessories. Makey has sent me a sample of their new metal grip for the Nikon Z6 and Z7 and I have been using um, about a week or so now. So today I'm going to talk about the things I like and don't like about this metal grip. So first, let's talk about the build quality. The, the grip, metal grip, as I said, is pretty much completely made of metal. It's made of two pieces of metal, the top plate and the lower plate, and they use quite a number of screws to join the two plates together. There's a bit of leather texture pattern at the side of the grip, so that improves the, um, the feeling and the handling of the grip. And then the rest of the grip are all just uh, painted in black. Overall, it's a very nicely built and solid grip. After using the grip for about a week or so, I already noticed there is a little bit of uh, paint that got rubbed off at the edge of the grip. Um, I assume most of those is because of me uh, repeatedly mount it on a tripod and then take it off and then mount it on again when I was testing how it mount onto the tripod. It doesn't look very pleasant, but then um, I remember when I bought the Nikon Genuine DF grip, it was also a metal grip, and after about um, two weeks or so, I also noticed uh, there was some paint that got rubbed off at the edge of the grip. To install it on the camera is very easy. Uh, basically, there's a screw at the bottom of the plate. You just attach it here and then you screw it on and then that's it. But before that, there's one thing you need to do first. Uh, because of the design of the grip, it reuse the battery door from the, uh, the camera body itself. So the first thing you need to do is that you have to actually remove the battery door from the camera. It's actually very easy to do that. What you need to do is just make sure you try to put it onto the one side and then you can easily slide it off from the camera body and after you did that you do the opposite thing you put it on the um, the bottom of the grip here and you just basically slide it in and that's it and then you close the door and then you can now um, install it onto the body so um, if you have a cone then it will make it a lot easier to um, securely tighten the screw at the bottom of the grip to um, just lock it uh, very securely onto the body. So after you've done that, and now the grip feel very securely uh, locked onto the body, so there is no uh, prey or you can't easily twist it or anything when you have locked the grip onto the body. As soon as you install the grip onto the camera body and uh, you hold the camera and you can immediately feel there's a huge difference to how um, how supportive the grip now becomes. Uh, I know that there are lots of people complaining about their, their pinky finger that they um, not feel really comfortable when they are using the Z6 or Z7 by itself because they feel like their finger is just, uh, there's nowhere for them to place the pinky finger. Um, for me, actually, I never complained about it. I feel it was okay, um, even without using the grip. But now, I have installed the Makey grip onto the body and um, I can immediately feel the grip is much improved after I have installed the grip onto the body. Just a moment ago, I talked about how you uh, need to remove the battery door from the camera body and then put it onto here. So that makes it very easy now for you to remove the battery. You don't have to remove the grip at all. You just need to open the door and then you can easily reach the um, switch there and then you can take the battery out. And when you finish, um, you can replace it with another battery and then you just just need to close the door like that. So um, it's 
very very easy to change battery even with the grip on and I suppose most people who bought the grip will just uh, leave it permanently on because um, you can still assess the battery and everything else just as easy as without the grip now there is one downside with this design though because now you remove the battery door from the camera body and you place it here and because there's no um, weather seal around the edges of the grip so that means the weather seal of the camera body is not as good as if you don't have the grip installed this is a little trade-off that you have to make uh, but I think for most of us who don't have to frequently shoot under very heavy rain this trade-off is definitely worth it because with the um, this makey metal grip with this additional bit extension at the bottom here it does make the camera grip just feel a lot more supportive and uh, especially when you're using some heavy big lenses it just feel a lot more secure and just more comfortable as well if you look at the front of the grip you notice that the grip doesn't have a flat base design um, so you see that the part that near the grip does extrude quite a bit down below but then after that you will raise it um, up here quite a bit and then this side is actually not too thick compared to the other side so I think there are two main reasons why Makey choose this slightly unusual design compared to the more uh, traditional, more typical fret based design. The first reason is that it's trying to minimize the weight and the size of the grip. So um, the grip itself is actually feel very, very light. And then also when you mount it on the camera, you don't look at this side, it's actually not that much bigger than without the grip. So it gives you the benefit of improving the grip of the camera while without having to increase the size of the weight of the camera too much. The other reason I believe is that because this side, which is where you mount the tripod onto, um, is not actually that thick and doesn't raise the camera too much. If you compare it with the other grip which has a flat base design, which means this part will be quite a bit thicker. So um, the Meiji with its much thinner base plate around this area will give you lower center of gravity and also that means um, the camera will be more secure when it's mounted onto the tripod. The downside of this non flat base design is that if you try to put your camera onto a desk or somewhere that is flat and uh, as you can probably imagine the camera wouldn't sit flat, it will be in a slight angle. Um, I think this may be a problem for people who like to take some uh, selfie or self portrait um, without using a tripod that you just place it somewhere then your camera now will be a bit tilted. So this could be a bit of a problem for you. Uh, but for other people, I think most other people, it probably doesn't actually um, create any issue apart from it's slightly annoying that the camera doesn't actually sit flat when you put it on the table. There's one thing that is really cool about this Meiji Metal Grip is that the Metal Grip itself is actually also a Arca Swiss base plate. So if you have a tripod that using Arca Swiss uh, plate, then you can just easily just mount it, slide it onto your tripod and then you can lock it easily like this so you don't even have to attach a plate or uh, remove the grip or do anything you can just slide it onto your tripod and then lock it so i think that is a very handy feature if you are also using tripod that using the arca swiss plate that's why if you look at the bottom of the plate you can see there are two holes here the center one is for you to mount a normal tripod uh, or using a tripod plate you can use this hole here and the other one is for you if you're using the Arca Swiss uh, tripod head then you, when you slide it in the pin on the, um, the Arca Swiss plate will go into here and help you lock the camera onto the tripod. So here you go, this is my review of this Meiji grip for the Nikon Z6 and Z7. I think when I first looked at the grip I was really puzzled why they don't make it a flat base design. But after using it for about a week or so, I really like this grip because um, first thing is it does dramatically improve the handling of the camera. It does make the camera feel a lot more secure and more supportive 
when I'm holding, especially when I'm using some of the bigger lens. And uh, secondly, it doesn't increase the size of the camera that much because one of the advantage that people like about the mirrorless camera is that it, it wanted to be a small camera. So I always feel if you have to attach a large grip to a smallish mirrorless camera, it kind of defeat the purpose of um, using a mirrorless camera. So I think that's the reason why they don't make it a flat base design. And with the Arca Swiss base plate here, I think that's a very clever design because I can now easily attach it to the tripod um, without having to attach another tripod plate or take off the grip or anything like that. It just slide it in and that's it. I think the only downside or concern is that if you are a photographer who has to uh, regularly shoot under heavy rain because you have to remove the battery door from the camera body and attach it to the grip and um, there's no way to seal between the grip and the camera so that would um, have some impact on the weather seal of the camera body but overall i think for most people um, this little trade-off is definitely well worth it because it does definitely improve the handling and the grip of the camera a lot and with the um, arca swiss design here it does really benefit people who are using the arca swiss tripod head um, just make it very handy so um, and also the price is not very expensive um, I think it's around 60 US dollar or so so that is a very cheap accessory that does improve the handling of the body quite a lot so after watching this review what do you think about this makey grip do you like the design or not or do you think there's actually some other grip that is better than this makey grip for the nikon z6 and z7 uh let me know i would be interested to hear about your opinion or if you have some other alternative that you want to talk about thank you very much for watching this video and hopefully i will see you again in my next video